So I've been building unnecessary inventions now for about four years, and over that time, I've created a lot of different inventions. And if you're not aware, I'm fully self-taught, so that means my skill level has slowly increased over the years. And some of my old inventions definitely were not that good. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the concept was bad, it was just maybe my execution of that idea wasn't cutting it. Or at least it's not cutting it today in 2023. And that's why today I wanna to take some of my old inventions I have here and reinvent them for 2023. Some of the ideas I can take the original idea and just tweak it a little bit to make it better. And others I need to redesign from the ground up, basically taking that problem I was solving and making a brand new invention that still has like the essence of the original one, but is gonna be so much better. But really quick, I just, I just noticed one of the tiles on the wall has fallen down. So let's quickly go ahead and get the wall of narcissism looking good. Micro Luggage Max, you are good enough. Back to the build. And the first one that I want to tackle is called the right round cone. For this one, we're going to need to go way to the end of the feed to find it. It's got to be here somewhere. Let's see, there we go. The right round cone. And this one was basically an attachment for your drill for eating ice cream. You basically made your ice cream cone and then you slid this little compartment onto your drill, put the ice cream cone inside, and then when you pulled the trigger of the drill, you had to do a whole lot less work to eat your ice cream cone because it was like spinning around and it wasn't getting all messy and all over the place. I was really getting in on that ice cream cone though. <laughs> <laughs> but the one issue that I have is that 3D printed part only works on that one drill and I don't have that drill anymore. It's sort of an issue that I talked about in my last episode, which I'll play right now. You know, when I'm making my inventions for my channel, I don't necessarily have to think about the mass market. I'm just like, okay, what's gonna work on my car to film my video to get it up on the channel? So I basically wanna reinvent the right round cone so that no matter who picks it up, you can automatically use it and lick your ice cream cone. The thing was, I didn't know how to use electronics and motors and all that kind of stuff back in the day but now I do. So I had to get up and stop talking to myself on the floor and head on into the gear room. We were only gonna need a few different components. The first thing I wanted to find was a motor, something that was fast enough, but not too fast so it would get super messy. Then that thing was just gonna run on a nine volt battery. Super simple right there. But we don't want it running at all times, so we're gonna need a little button so when you push the button, it activates the motor and only goes when you want. So I had to get all the exact measurements of all of those different components. That way when I designed the 3D model, it was exactly to spec and hopefully worked first go round. And like I mentioned, for this one, I'm gonna actually keep most of the design from the original one of that top section that attached to the drill. I was gonna add a few different design elements like these little ribbed columns that go up the stem just to add a little pizzazz. Plus we were gonna need a little hole that was gonna attach to the motor. Then for the bottom, I was gonna make a nice little handle that had little ribs that your fingers could perfectly slide into and hold onto it while you're pushing the button to make the motor go round. And since I also have nicer equipment here in the studio, I was I was gonna make this a two-tone colorway just to give it a little pop. But for the handle, I was gonna keep it solid white because I have a nice green button that complements that green we're gonna have on the top. So this part will be white and then we'll do that dual color action going on the bamboo lab here. And I was oh so patient because if we go ahead and take a look at how well this came out, it looks so good. Just look at how clean that print came out. It looks so good. And then for the handle, we've got those nice smooth ribs that all of your fingers can perfectly slide in to make this spin around and around once the electronics are inside. And that sounds like a good idea. Let's go, let's go put the electronics in, inside of here. And just because I know how to do these things these days doesn't mean I'm the best at it because I started soldering everything together only to realize I first needed to have the wires go through before I soldered it to the motor. So then I had to unsolder everything from the motor, then get the wires going through the handle itself and re-solder them to the motor. So when I slid them in, all of the wires were properly coming out and I had to get that last piece onto the button. So once you pushed it, it spun right round. I had to slide this on and the only thing I could think of, you spin me right round baby right round it is just it spin so smoothly definitely an upgrade for the right round code and from the version one to version two I am realizing that you can't exactly see how well this is spinning so let's get ourselves an ice cream cone it would be sacrilegious if I didn't have Ben and Jerry's being a Vermonter and not only one but we've got ourselves two pints and of course some waffle cones Okay, now you should be able to see much better how well this thing spins around. Product test number one. Oh yeah, definitely doing its thing. Push the button, 
the ice cream spins. This would definitely now be a product ready for the mass market. It's a little messy though, <laughs> but so delicious. I know people hate watching people eat on video, so let's move on to invention number two, because this is an unnecessary redesigned success. Okay, I'm gonna admit that this one, the idea was like a 10 out of 10, the execution was somewhere around like a negative four out of 10. But come on, this was only the one, two, three, four, five, sixth invention that I had ever made for unnecessary inventions. And this one was called the Driver Snack Tax Shoot. On road trips, transport your favorite snacks directly from the back seat to the driver's hand easily and safely. Don't hog all the good stuff back there. Cause you know when you're on a road trip and the back seat always has better snacks than the front seat and then you're doing that little like hand movement of trying to get some good snacks from the back seat. The idea was basically a tube that someone in the back seat would hold onto and then drop the snacks down the chute into the driver's hand and they would be able to get the snacks from the back seat. But it, it was just a tube. All I made was a tube. Idea, execution, didn't match up. So picture this, this is what I have the idea in my head. Picture your elbow moving back and forth as like a joint extending outward from the dashboard to the back of the car. So basically I would just need to design a set of arms that would go up and down and then would interlock like your elbow so that way they extend outward but then also come back in to the driver and that way it's also going to be a little bit easy because I only sort of have to design that one arm and then I can duplicate it over and over until it reaches the length I need to get to the back seat. Hopefully that all makes sense. <laughs> And just like that, we have our very first arm and this is what it's looking like. I think it should pretty much work, but there's only one thing is that we need a few more of these. So if we just go ahead and duplicate it up so that we have a whole bunch of them and I added one extra in to add a little bit of pop of color. And they'll essentially all connect using the eyelets here on the top. So basically make a pin so that it goes right through there. And I'm pretty certain that this distance will reach from the driver's seat all the way to the back seat, and then they'll fold up and I'll have a nice little bowl there so that I can eat my snacks. So let's get to work trying to figure out all the other pieces to this snack puzzle. So it was time to jump back into my computer so I could start designing all the other pieces I was gonna need for this build. Mainly it was that bowl section and the top arm that was gonna connect it to the dashboard. Once I had those parts, I could go ahead and slowly saunter over to the 3D printers and get all the necessary parts and colors I needed going on there. From there, it was basically just light speed ahead, letting the printers print out all of those different pieces I was gonna need. I was really wasting no time. Like the second it was done, I immediately ripped it off of the printer. And just like before, it was looking super good so far, and then I just had to grab those little pegs I was going to use to connect everything. And speaking of which, those pegs were really tight because I wanted to make sure the arms weren't too flimsy, so I had to sort of get a hammer and really crunch those inside. But luckily that wasn't the case inside my car. Because my car has one very specific thing that makes it much easier to uh, attach it. Let me show you. I've never used it before, but we've got like a little tripod screw hole mount here, so I'll be able to screw it in right there. So if we go ahead and take the first arm and I've got myself a screwdriver, we'll go ahead and hopefully screw this in. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's fully collapsed in. I think it's kind of like the perfect place that if you're eating snacks as a driver, it's right there. Now the extension. If we go ahead and extend it outwards, it is absolutely reaching the back seat. It goes from the front here, all the way down, across again, down, and then they have a nice little compartment to put all the snacks inside. And I'm either gonna get praised or absolutely roasted. Here are my top three favorite road trip snacks. Classic, uh, classic trail mix. Can't go wrong with that. Then we gotta get a little bit saltier, get some Fritos in there. And last but not least, we've got ourselves Swedish fish. There is no candy better than Swedish fish. Of course, we gotta get the view from the back seat, from it going all the way up front to all the way in the back. We'll get some Fritos in there. Pour in some of the trail mix, and then get down on some Swedish fish. Could you find something more delectable than this collection? I truly don't think so. From the back seat, I'll go ahead and push it back up forwards. And now it's perfectly waiting for the driver to enjoy their snacks from the back seat. All right, now we're heading down the road and I can confirm that this is the perfect distance for enjoying snacks on the go. Successful reinvention, so I'd say we go ahead and do another one.
So we've already redone two inventions, and each one kind of had its own different flair to it. The first one we did, we took the original idea and made it better. Then for the second one, we took the idea and completely redesigned it to create a brand new invention. And for the third one, I want to take an invention that I made and basically create another invention that would almost be like in the same collection. It's still kind of solving the same problem, but you could almost like sell it as a bundle pack. But you're gonna have to just give me one second to find it. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is called the crapper concealer. Sometimes you just don't want people to recognize your shoes from under the stall. Thankfully, you can now effortlessly conceal your shoes while you continue to do your business. Effortlessly slide your shoes into each platform, raise the curtain to relieve yourself to be completely anonymous in public. Now, can you pass me some toilet paper from underneath the divide? So the whole basis of this invention is being self-conscious while you're going to the bathroom in public, and you don't want people to actually know it's you if they recognize your shoes. But there's another issue about people knowing it's you when you're in the bathroom stall. Because sometimes that crack in the bathroom stall is just a little bit too wide, and when someone walks by, you almost make eye contact with them through the crack in the bathroom stall. So I think I've come up with a way to hide the crack in a bathroom stall, but in a way that you'll always have it on you no matter what. So even if you're in public and no one knows who you are, you don't necessarily need to hide your shoes, but if they catch you through that little crack, they're gonna know. Well, it's not necessarily they're gonna know it's you, it's just really, really awkward. <laughs> Let's get to it. So the first thing I thought of is what's something you typically have while you're going to the bathroom? You have your belt. You're always gonna have your belt on you. And for this project inside the gear closet, I was gonna need some fabric, but not just any fabric. I wanted the perfect fabric that was gonna work for this. And I think this was gonna do the trick. And I kind of lucked out because it was the exact size of the belt. So I folded it over to measure it so that it would work out perfectly. Then I just had to cut it carefully down the seams and then sew that together as one giant tube. Yeah, we're going back to tubes. And then glue it to the belt. And then the one last thing I was gonna need that was gonna be the special sauce to all of this was magnets. I was gonna attach magnets to this for one special reason. I invented the Slot Stall Shield, the first wearable belt that's equipped with a fold-out cloth covering and our integrated magnetic system. So now you can effortlessly cover the gap in the public bathroom stall to ensure you never accidentally lock eyes with someone walking by while you're doing your business. Then when you're finished, simply grab and go to put it back on until you have to go again. All right, I don't even think I'm gonna pretend to be humble. I think that one, that one is a home run invention. But three brand new inventions that are reinventions of my old inventions done in three different ways, different styles, that I think were all pretty much a success. If there's like another way you want me to do these reinventions to relive some of my old inventions or maybe just like rating my old inventions, Leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions or if you just have an absolutely horrible invention idea that you wanna see me build. And with that, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm gonna head back to my car and eat all of those snacks that I left there yesterday. And I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.